Urgent cares offering COVID-19 testing across Mobile County are slammed. Now we showed you days ago a line of people wrapped around the Kid Street Urgent Care on Greelot Road and the line has not slowed down. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson spoke to a nurse who works at that facility today. Rachel, they have been hopping over there, haven't they? They have, Kim McGregg, a nurse says that they are seeing an average of 100 and 130 patients a day, mostly for COVID testing. When you drive past this urgent care on Greelot, one after another, you can see people lined up outside the building waiting to be seen. Today we saw people in lawn chairs reading books, others sat on the ground. We are encouraging patients to wait outside or in their car so patients can maintain proper social distancing. The clinic says when the doors opened at noon, there were so many people here, nurses immediately tended to around 80 patients. The others had to wait for a call back. We sent everybody else home. We took like a maximum amount that we could have in the building and sent everybody else home. Urgent cares across Mobile County are also seeing a high number of sick patients. Immediate Care of the South says it's seeing around 50 patients a day for coronavirus symptoms. Compass Urgent Care seeing around 100. It seems like our highest rates are in folks between the ages of about 18 and 40. So younger people are really um, are the ones who are having the most infections. Nurse Thomasina Sharp works at multiple urgent cares, including this one. She says the good news is more and more people are getting tested. What is alarming to her, a high number of asymptomatic people in all age groups are testing positive. Probably only 20 to 25 percent of them are having symptoms. Sharp says she's tested children as young as five months old. Her oldest positive patient is 92. She says it is absolutely crucial if you have been exposed to the virus or think you have to get tested. This is early summer in Mobile and you know a lot of us get sinuses, allergies, hay fever. This weather starts making us have a little asthma, but you also have to realize that those are all symptoms of coronavirus. She says in order to slow the spread in the community, more people have to be tested. Tonight at 6, hear what the health department has to say about the increase in cases. Reporting live in West Mobile, Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News.